What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield. Hopping on to that ranked double ladder with this amazing Chlorophyll Venusaur and support Tapu Koko team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out on this channel. But shout out to my boy Rufino for dropping this team. It's looking fire. I cannot wait to hop onto that rank ladder and try to get some wins with it. But top left corner, rocking out on this team. The main Pokemon, we got ourselves Cooler Phil Venusaur. Doubles his speed in the drought. Got that Assault Vest. Two stab moves, a Sludge Bomb and Giga Drain. We got Weather Ball and Earth Power, both for coverage. And Weather Ball can actually be a stab move depending on what uh, weather it is. But then we got Twirkle over on the right. You guys already know plenty about it. Sets that drought for that Venusaur with the charcoal. Drought ability, heat wave, eruption, earth power, and protect. Pretty normal move set for him. On the left side, behind my face cam, we got ourselves Rotom Heat and great Pokemon right here. Been seeing a lot of love in Series 7. Levitate and the safety goggles. We can actually set up the nasty plot. We got Thunderbolt, Rising Voltage, which is going to pair well with the Top of Coco's Electric Surge, and then Overheat for our big fire stab move. Top of Coco right next to him with that Light Clay. Light Clay for the screens. We got Reflect and Light Screen. We're actually to set up for eight turns of big screens and just actually rock out with that. You guys already know I absolutely love Pokemon that send screens. So Top Coco is going to be a good Pokemon for this team. We also got Volt Switch and Dazzling Gleam both for stab moves. And then that Electric Surge is going to help Rise and Voltage do double damage with that Rotom Heat. Bottom left corner, we got our Chelps. The Choice Scarf Landers. This thing is amazing. You guys have been seeing tons of it. Intimidate and then normal moves set of Super Power, Rock Slide, EQ, and E Turn. And then in the final spot, we got ourselves a big old Storm Drain Gastron that's going to help out with a Torkoal. Rotom and Landers just giving it that water option. In case we're going to use a water move, we can swap out and actually eat up a shot and get that free special attack boost. This thing's got a move set of Scald, Earth Power, Protect, and Recover. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself? Rental Code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that Rank Double Ladder and try to get some wins with this team. First battle coming at you guys, and this guy's team can go two either ways. He can roll a Trick Room with the Confi, or he can just go Moltres and Confi combo and roll out from there. He has some slow Pokemon like the Rhyperior, but then he has the fast Pokemon like the Regilecki. So I don't know which ones he's going to go for. I think we might just lead the uh, the Venusaur into Torkoal combo. Bring Gastrodon. Do we bring Gastrodon just in case, uh, just in case Trick Room pops? I, I feel like Gastrodon should come in here. I kind of like that too. Gastron does work on a few of these Pokemon. So I'm going to bring Gastron just in case the Trick Room comes. Then in the final spot, do we go Rotom Heat? Or do we go Tapu Koko? I kind of want to go Tapu Koko. I think he's going to lead uh, Confi regardless. Confi and... Uh, I think he just leads Confi and... Mm, Glare and Moltres is scary. Definitely a scary Pokemon right there. But I think, I think we're fine with this lead. I really do think we're fine with that lead. We can eat up with the Soul Fest for special attacking moves. Then we just bring Rotom Heat. Or do we bring Landorus? Hmm. I don't like how Rotom Heat's looking here with the safety goggles and all that. I like it. He could proc Weakness Policy, which is kind of scary. Oh, let's get after it with this. Let's go Heat. We're going to bring Storm Drain Gastron just in case he rolls Trick Room. We need another slower Pokemon in that back end. And plus, uh, the best part about Gastron is he can actually roll in like late game and eat up a shot and be able to do like the final damage. That's what I love about Gastron. It's just such a good late game back end Pokemon. But first battle. Let's get it. Let's get it. Trying to get this win. A Confi and Moltres, I think, is going to come out regardless. Let's see who goes with into. No, Regilecki and Heatran. Okay, I'm fine with that. We got the Torkoal popping. We got the Venusaur. Uh, I think Heatran definitely has to go. Right? We do have a ground move with him. So I could uh, just Dynamax and Max Quake. I'm not too, really too worried about the Regilecki. I'd rather just go in here and drop a Quake, get that special defense boost. And then just roll an Eruption, right? Eruption, I think, is the play. Let's go with that. I think that's the play instead of a Heat Wave. But oh, we're definitely Dynamaxing here. We need that special defense boost. That's just going to be big. I think uh, both these Pokemon, are those both special attacking? I'm trying to think. Heatran might be physical now. Heatran's physical, right? Yeah, it has Magma Storm and all that. We're going to Dynamax our big old Venusaur. G-Max him up. And then Retrolecki, yeah, I think it's special. Maybe physical. I think it's special. I really do think it's special. Which is huge. But we do have that Soul Fest, which is actually really, really nice. He's going to actually set up a Reflect. Oh, dude, you crazy. You crazy, my dude. You're going to set up a Reflect. I actually like to see that quick coming out here. This thing, oh, this thing's holding that berry. This thing's holding that berry. And maybe Eruption might be able to pop here and actually do some work. Let's see what happens here. We do get that big old boost. Bang, doing some damage on... Oh, that's some big damage. If we get this Eruption off, we're going to be thriving. Hopefully my Venusaur can eat up whatever uh, what's called has to offer. Heatran? Because I know Heatran's going to come in with a big old move here. Let's see what he's got. Dude, he, of course he has a berry. Heatwave's popping. Yeah, okay, we eat all day. That's beautiful. Eruption might be able to pick up the double kill. It should totally be able to kill the what's called. Oh, this thing is flash fire. E. That's a little scary. But still, uh, Venusaur outspeeds. That's just gonna dump on the Bajalaki. Beautiful, beautiful turn right there. Now I should pro uh, pop into heat waves and roll from there. 
I think that's why. Luckily, he did use Heatwave. That's special attacking, so. I like it. I like it. We we're able to eat with that Soul Fest and that plus one. Now we got Moltres. I definitely got to get after that thing. Definitely got to get after that thing. Probably going to an Ooze. Probably going to an Ooze and just drop a Heatwave. This Heatwave will definitely take out that Heatran, no problem. And we'll both get this uh, special attack boost, which works well. And then there's the Dynamax from this guy. What you want, fool? What you want? Here comes the Moltres. Kind of saw that coming. He might guard up. He might guard up, which I'd be totally fine with. He might guard up. Or he, he'll probably guard next turn, to be honest, because that'll be our last turn. He's going to try to eat and try to proc Berserk. But we're going to be up. We're plus one. We have our Soul Vest for our Venusaur. And he might just go for an Airstream. He's going to protect the Heat Turn, which is totally fine. We're dropping Heat Wave, and we're doubling up in that side. Going here. Ooze coming out here. Give me that special attack boost. That's going to be huge for the Torkoal as well. That is huge for the Torkoal. That's huge for the Torkoal. Because what's going to go first? Glarian Moltres. He's going to go for the Airstream. 100%. Right? Yeah, here comes the Airstream. Venusaur should still be able to outspeed this thing and be able to eat that up. No problem. So what's called should go down this next turn? Moltres. But I think this Heat Wave is going to do a decent amount. And then Venusaur outspeeds that Moltres. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. I'm loving how we're sitting. What? No, bro, bro. You really just avoided that attack? Yo, he really just avoided that attack. Are you kidding me? That might lose us the game. That was a big heat wave there. We needed that heat wave. We needed that heat wave, and now heat ran out speeds us. Oh, are you kidding me? No! Luckily, Venusaur outspeeds that because Torkoal's not going to go down to whatever he has to offer. Torkoal should be able to pick up the double kill. We need Torkoal to just double connect here, and then we should be thriving. Bro, are you kidding me? We missed a heat wave! Don't kill me. We should be fine. Torkoal should be fine. Venusaur might go down. Yeah, Venusaur goes down, but Torkoal double connects here. That's a double kill. And then we roll out and probably win this game. We roll out into uh, Rhythm Heat. Come on, Torkoal. I need you here, buddy. Heat wave comes out. Flash fire, I know that. Oh yeah, if I keep forgetting about the flash fire. Bro, we just lost the game. We just lost that game. Because we're missing a Moltres. We just lost that game because we're missing a Moltres. Twice. We just lost that game because of this. That is nuts. That is absolutely nuts that we just lost this game. What is Heat Wave? A 90? It's a 90 and we missed twice? What you mean? Darkness comes out. It's going to take out my Torkoal. No, he doesn't go after Torkoal. Hold up. Wait a minute. We might have a shot here. He's going to drop our special defense. Torkoal, I need you to eat and connect. Earth Power coming out here. Torkoal's dead. This game, guys. This game. You guys know this game is in the bag. You guys know that this game was in the bag. He both comes out. I'm gonna finish off him. Bro, this game was in the bag. All we need to do is hit one heat wave. One heat wave takes that thing out. We're plus one and plus two. We can get out Gashin on here. Which hopefully can maybe pick up the win. And then he's got Urshavu. Like, dude, this one's over with. It's over with. Bro, what you mean? I gotta overheat onto that, uh, onto that Moltres. But Moltres is just gonna fiery wrath and pick up the double kill, right? It's over with. That is so whack. Gotta go for that. Actually, no. We'll rather get stabbed, T-Bolt. Should be able to dump on that. Then I guess we'll just Skull. Let's see what happens here. They're gonna both outspeed us. We need them to miss now. Yo, how do we miss double heat wave? He's gonna protect. Uh, bro, what you mean? Unless we get a burn here and this guy misses. Let's see. Wicked Blow comes out. Wrap it up. There goes Rotom. Mm -mm -mm. This game, guys. This game. What you mean? Bro, you guys already know. You guys already know we had that one in the bag. We're playing it so well, and we get two heat wave misses when it's 90 accuracy. I swear, I'm going to file a... Uh, I'm going to send the Pokemon company a very strong email letting them know my feelings. Letting them know that, but we got to run this battle, and we're going to start off 0-1 when we should be 1-0. Second battle coming at you guys. This guy's got one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. He's got the Klefki, baby. He's got the Klefki. He's also got Glaciary, which is scary. Um, Dragapult, awesome Pokemon right there. He's got the Machamp. Ooh, ooh. 
I like seeing a little bit of switch up. He's got the Machamp and the Rotom Heat. I think I gotta bring Landers. I think we maybe go... Hmm, who do I leave? I really want the uh, the Venusaur and Torkoal combo. I really do want that. But I think I'm gonna lead Venusaur and Tapu Koko? Try to get screens up. Where do we go? Lando. And swap Lando into Torkoal. And then roll from there. I think that's the play. Let me bring Torkoal. And then in the final spot, I think Rotom Heat might have to come in here. There's no water Pokemon, so... I think Rotom Heat kind of covers a lot here. Got that electric typing. And then that, that fire typing for that Glacier in case my Torkoal goes down. But I think that's the play. I think that is the play. I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. And then the next game, maybe we can show off the top of Coco. But dude, I'm still mad about that last one. Just one Heat Wave would have just absolutely murked on that Moltres. We had Stab. We had... The drought going, so there's more damage. Then we also had the plus one on special attack, and the second one was plus two. It's plus two definitely would have took him out. Plus two, 100% would have took him out from the max use boost. But bruh, dude, we would have been thriving. I did forget about flash fire, but still, even if I forgot about it, we still would have won that game regardless. But this guy, who do I think he's gonna lead? Hopefully, he leads uh, physical attackers. Play chair, Dragapult, a champ. We get that intimidate on. We swap out, and then we roll from there. But something I didn't know is that you can actually uh, use a move. Like when you swap out and you swap back in, your choice move resets. I did not know that for a while. Did not know that for a while. He's going to go Rotom and... Who's this one? And Klefki. Okay, so smart little play. So Intimidate's really not going to do too, too, too much here. Um, he just had that Fire, which is scary. And he has Levity. I kind of want to swap out... Venus. Hmm. I don't want to swap out. We do have the Soul Vest. I still want to Dynamax and go for that Ooze and probably get this. Get Boost near. We will outspeed. I could go for a Rock Slide. I think that's a play. No, but then we're not going to outspeed. What's the play? I said we stay in a turn. I said we stay in a turn here. And we swap the Torkoal next turn. I think that's the play. I think that is the play. He could go for an overheat, but I still I feel like my Venusaur can eat up an overheat. With Dynamax and that Assault Fest. I feel like we can eat it and then swap into Torkoal and have that Intimidate for later. Then Torkoal rolls in and then we'll be fine. I'm kinda liking that. I'm kinda liking that. And I kinda wanna get off a of G-Max Vine Lash this time around. So we can have that passive damage just going all out. We're at 374 HP with the Soul Fest. I, I I'm I'm almost positive we can eat up a big old overheat. Unless he crits. He's gonna set up a real fight. Kinda saw this coming. Kinda saw the screens cut feet coming out here. Probably late screen or light clade. Get that rock side off. Uh, hopefully get that flinch on the Rotom. That'd be huge. We can get that flinch on the Rotom. Let's see what happens here. Give me a flinch. Give me a flinch. Of course we don't flinch. Any willow was with me. I'm mad at you, man. I'm mad at you. You biscuit. Burns my landers. Alright, landers. I'm gonna have to swap you out. Here comes my ooze. We're gonna go plus one on the special attack board. Dang, take him out, please. What you mean? We don't we don't take him out. Um, I said we stay in. I said we stay in and we use up again. Because Lander still outspeeds, a rock side will definitely finish off that Rotom. Then I can quake and get a special defense boost, but I'd rather just do this. Oh no, Ooze doesn't affect it. I'd rather just quake and get a special defense boost. He's not levitated, but I know that for a fact. And I think I'd rather just uh rock side. I couldn't U-turn. I cannot U-turn. We're scarf. Sure. Um, let's go into this Rotom slot. We got, we got, we got to send the Rocks out here, and then we can swap out next turn. Let's still have that Intimidate, and then have that last turn. Venusaur can have the speed. The Sun can be thriving for a couple extra turns for us. But he does have a burn on the Lando, which is kind of scary. But at least Lando is a, a Pokemon that we can just use for uh, for pestering around. Yeah, but here comes Helping Hand. Oh, yo, he's Helping Handing. Yo, what move are you using? Kind of scared for you. Here's my Rock Slide. Please connect on that Rotom. He Helping Hands for a Light Screen. Does that do anything? Does that give it extra turns? I kind of want to check it out. Rock Slide. Who dodged it? Please take out the Rotom. Please take out the Rotom. Thank you. Thank you. I would have said, yo, missed attacks just aren't our friend today. Now I get the Quake. The Special Defense Boost is popping off for me. And I'm plus one, and then next turn I can go into a Vine Lash on whatever Pokemon, Pokemon comes on the right side. Not bad damage. So close to the KO. So close for the KO. Uh, this thing is probably just going to start paralyzing me. I'm not even going to lie. I think it paralyzes and we still double heat. We're going to our heat. 
Cause who are you gonna bring out? Who are you gonna bring out? Probably Glacier. It's at a trick room too. Can't call at trick room. See, who are you going out to? But I love Venusaur's uh, G Max form. It looks like it's wearing a crown. <laughs> like, look at that thing. It just looks like it's wearing a crown. Make a play, my dude. Please don't have Glacier. I'll kind of be scared. Let's see. Who are you going to go into? He goes into. Okay, Pult. I'm down with the Pult. And Vine Lash is not very effective, but I kind of still want to hit this out. I kind of still want to put this out. Swap into the Heat here. He's gonna paralyze me. I already know this is coming. I'm gonna swap out my Lando. Have him for the back end for later. Even though he is burned, hopefully he has another physical attacker in the back. Because I know Dragapult's gonna be clear body. There's no way it's Infiltrator or Dragapult. Nobody uses that over clear body. But Vine Lash will be able to uh, clean up the Klepki and do a little bit of damage onto this uh, Dragapult slot. We're at plus one. The Drought's out here. We're doubling our speed. And can Klepki outspeed my Venusaur? It, it can. It, I think it has, uh, what is it called? Prankster. It's Prankster Klepki, yeah. Paralyzed. Kind of saw that coming all day. Phantom Force popping. Ooh. Sad face. Sad face. I mean, I'm kind of fine with that. Because I can pop an eruption. Here. I can pop an eruption. I can pop an eruption all day. And that is going to be a big eruption. Oh, Weather Ball's coming out here. Weather Ball. Who am I going after with a Weather Ball? Going after you. And then Eruption should just be able to clean up a lot of this. Eruption's still going to do a decent amount onto that, uh, that Dragon Pulse slot, I feel like. Let's see what he's going to do. What are you going to do? We got Weather Ball popping. We got Weather Ball, baby. Can you? You can't. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, can you swap out your Dragon Pulse? But you can't. Here comes another Thunder Wave. That's totally fine. We're already slow. He's just going to pray for a Paralyze this year. Which he'll probably get because my luck is just doo doo today. Let's see what happens here. Here comes the Phantom Force over on the Venusaur slot. Venusaur eats all day. And as long as we connect these moves, we should be fine. He's like Ford. Weather Ball comes out. Weather Ball might be able to take this out. Let's see. Yo, Weather Ball coming out here. Does not. Oh, I forgot it's not very effective. Here comes the Eruption. The Eruption is definitely taking out Club Key. Are we doing a lot of damage on this Pulse key? Do not take out the Pult. E! Dude, I wanted that Pult dead. I wanted that Pult dead. Still doing a decent amount. Um, another eruption would take out that pull, but I don't think we're gonna be able to get off a full HP eruption again. And who do we have in the back end? There's Machamp, that's gonna be his Dynamax pick one. Who do we have in the back end again? It is Zero Time Heat, right? I kinda like a big overheat should be able to come in here and clean that up. I'm thinking this onto you. Or what move should I use? The Giga Jane try to get some HP back. I think that's a play. I think a heat wave. He, no, he's gonna drop into a phantom force. But I am gonna go for a heat wave. Sheer fact is, I don't think this thing is gonna be guts. And if we get a burn off on that thing, that'd be huge. That'd be huge. We still have Lando. We still have Lando to come out here for that attack drop, which is, which I really like. Which I really, really like. But again, we're double paralyzed, we got a burn, and then we have bro time heat. It's a final mod. He's gonna end up Dynamaxing him a champ as his last little call. Hopefully we can pick up this win. He's pestered around on us. I probably should have swapped. Actually, nah, I, I, we shouldn't have swapped the land though. Thank God I didn't. We'll let up. Oh, 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 whoa oh there. Oh, there, partner. Whoa oh there. Swaps in you. He swaps in you. Here comes the Phantasm. Oh, no. Venusaur goes out. Torkoal should be able to eat whatever. Uh, is this thing going to close combat us? I wouldn't mind if he close combat because that gives him the defense drop. No, I think we're dead. We got that defense drop on us. Eat up, Torkoal. This thing's life orb all day. Eat up, Torkoal. Rock slide. Yo, don't flinch. Don't you dare flinch, Torkoal. Don't you dare flinch or paralyze. You got this. You got this. Focus in, baby. I love you. I love you so much. I love you, Torkoal. You are my best friend ever. My best friend. You are the bomb. Let's get it. <laughs> Torkoal against all odds. He thought he was going to get the flinch. He thought he was going to get the paralyze. Nah, yo. Torkoal against all odds. I think we just bring in Rotom Heat and we finish this match up. We still have Lando, but... I think we're thriving here. We just drop another heat wave and an overheat. And that's GG. And that is GG. Bad choice on Dynamax. I really do think uh, he was really relying on that uh, the flinch. But, you know, Turkle against all odds, baby. He should Dynamax the, uh, the Machamp. It's probably G-Max, too. He probably could uh, boost his stuff and all that. Probably should have dropped the Phantom Force. That's what I thought he was going to do. But we end up picking up this W regardless. Let's get it. One-on-one, -on -one, we can hop into our third and final battle and try to get ourselves a winning record for today's video.
Last battle for today's video, we're looking for that winning record for the Jeans Online Gaming Community, baby. We're looking for it for you guys. This guy has a Lapras team. You guys already know Lapras is a very, very tough Pokemon. Very, very good all around. I think we go Coco here. Did we go Coco Venusaur. I kind of like that. Bring Torkoal in here. Maybe set up a screen. I could go Lando. We definitely bring Storm Drain Gastron. We definitely bring Storm Drain Gastron. I kind of like this. I don't like how we're doing this. I think we can thrive and get a lot of work done with this squad. We set up the screens easily, and then if we want to swap into Torkoal, we're fine with that. I really don't think we need Lando too much. Considering he has two or one physical attacker. Or maybe two. It's, uh, what's it called? Physical? Thunderous? He might be. But still, I really don't think we need it too, too much. The Pokemon that I'm really worried about is going to be that Lapras. He can set up a Trick Room, but again, I'm fine if he sets up Trick Room. We got Torkoal, and then we got Gastron in the back end for it. Which is perfectly fine. I mean, we got the leftovers to recover. We can eat up. We got our stab ground moves. Stab water move. We're thriving from there, but... Hmm. Well, let me see who he leads. Who do I think he might lead the... Uh, he's got to see the Venusaur lead, right? I can see the My Shao coming out for the lead and Cresselia. He goes into uh, Rotom Heat. Then, then we just set up a Light Screen. I think we swap. Because I don't have Protect. That's what I really don't like about this Venusaur set. I love Venusaur. I love it, but this one doesn't have protect on it. Like I, I don't know. I'd rather maybe take out Weather Ball. Yeah, keep the keep the Earth Power. The ground stabs really well with them. Have her, or not ground stab. The ground coverage move, and have her stab poison and grass moves, and then protect. Would have been awesome. Let's see who he rocks out with. He's gonna rock out with it. Gonna, okay, he's gonna go My Shout and Thunderous, which I'm I'm 100% fine. With. I'm I'm thriving with that. I saw the My Shout coming out here. I definitely set up that Reflect. I think turn one. Right, Reflect comes out here. Like your surge is popping. I think Reflect comes out here over top. This thing might have Brick Brick, which is kind of scary. Kind of scary. Get that Electric Surge. I'm going to set up this Reflect. I could go for a Gleam. <laughs> I could go for a Gleam. I'm going to go for a Gleam next turn. Then I'm just going to. Do I drop a Sludge Bomb? Or I think I get some HP back and do a little bit of damage onto this My Shell slot. He might Dynamax that, uh, that Thunderous. It actually worked out well for him. He's got the Surge too. So now he doesn't have to waste a turn setting it. He just gets a damage boost right away. But I really don't see him dropping that. I really don't see him dropping. He's probably gonna he's gonna dynamax into an airstream. This match is probably gonna be in the dumps now. Now that I'm thinking about it, he's gonna airstream, take out Venusaur, and thrive from there. Coco should be able to get off that reflect, but is he physical? Hopefully he's physical. We'll be able to tell. We still have that soul vest for special attack and move. Huge. Make a move, pup. Make a move. What do you think I'm gonna do? He's just gonna fake me out. You biscuit man. You fake out my Coco? Not my Coco beats. Oh, this thing's life orb. Thing is life orb. This thing's gonna drop a focus blast. Hapu Coco dodges. You love to see it. You can change coming. Um, I think that we definitely drop a gleam now. I think we definitely drop a gleam now because we're gonna we're gonna outspeed. I'm gonna gleam. I think I sludge bomb. I think I just sludge bomb. Try to get a poison on the slot. Cause Coco outspeeds in my shell all day. Unless that thing's choice, which no way. If he's going it's it's orb. We just saw it's life orb. And it just went for a fake out. Like what choice Pokemon rolls fake out? <laughs> Well, make a move. He might Dynamax to land or the, the, the Thunderous now, which I thought was the play. I really did think that was the play. Was the Dynamax that? This thing can try to roll off a Focus Blast. I seriously thought the play was the Dynamax that Thunderous. He's going to withdraw the My Shell, which is totally fine. And go into who? Who are you going to go into? Where? He's going to go into... Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Gleam's popping. Going to do a little bit of damage. I think. Do that. And then Sludge Bomb's going to pop from Beans. T-Bolt's coming out here. I definitely got to set up a... I definitely gotta set up a screen now. Reflect's definitely coming out next turn. Ledge Bomb comes out. Yo, yo. Nice damage, Venusaur. No poison. No poison. I'm definitely gonna set up that Reflect. And then I am going to pop off on a. Uh, hmm. I guess just a Sludge Bomb over on this slot. I guess, yeah, just a Sludge Bomb works fine. And I think what's called is gonna set up a Leech Seed. Ferrothorn. I think Ferrothorn is gonna drop a Leech Seed, try to set up Shop for him. Or he might Iron Defense. Which would be smart, but then I get Torkoal out here and we kind of we kind of get after it. Black popping, oh! Got them screens, Coco baby. That's good for us. Dark Pulse coming out here. Should be able to eat. That's on stab. Thank you very much. Not very effective. And then Sludge Bomb comes in here, cleans you up, says, "Get out my face." Nope. Beans are so good, man. He's so good. Coco beans don't work. Coco beans don't work all around. This thing's just gonna gyro ball. That's fine by me. You can go ahead and do that. I'll be able to eat that up. And I think I just saved my Dynamax. I think I just saved my Dynamax for Gastro or, uh... I found him on. Did I bring Heat? No, I brought, uh... Tor 
I kind of might want to die next year. Let's see what he goes into. I haven't seen a Lapras yet. I mean, I just gleam and take you out. It's totally fine. Gleam and then I just EP. The Sludge Bomb's nothing. Giga Drain's weak sauce. Or I could swap. I think I just Earth Power here. Or I could Dynamax. Nah, we'll, we'll save our Dynamax. Even though we have two slow back end Pokemon. He might Dynamax in my show. I, I don't think he's going to Dynamax here. I'd be surprised if he does, but. You yeah, know. Oh, he gets Fake Out again. I totally forgot about that. So the Life Orb damage is huge. Abacoco flinches. Earth Power coming out here. We do have the Reflect setup, which is nice. Earth Power doing a little bit. Just a little bit. Dire Ball's going to come out here. And you're not going to go after the Coco, which is actually big for us. And we're not going to go after the Coco. We're going to Gleam up again. And then I think I... Nah, I think we just keep dropping Earth Powers. Or I could go for the Poison on him. I I cannot. It's not very... It's no effect. If it was not very effective, I was going to go for the Poison on uh, Barathorn. Just try to get it. That would have been nice. Gleam popping. My shell's gone now. I absolutely love. Doing a little bit of damage on the Ferrothorn slot. And Ferrothorn's just going to Gyro Ball out. And finish off uh, whatever whatever Pokemon he wants to go after now. So, nope. Surprise Lapras isn't here. I really am. I haven't seen it yet. Gyro Ball takes out Coco. I absolutely love. I'd rather Coco go down here. I'd rather Coco go down here. And then we're going to see his final Pokemon. We got two of them out the way, right? Right? Didn't we take out two? We've got to bring out Torkoal. We get that speed boost for Venusaur. And then, I don't know who he's going to bring out. The Lapras? If it's Lapras, then I'm going to swap after It is Lapras. So he's going to want to change up the weather, for sure. For sure he wants to change up the weather. Now I'm going to swap into my Gastrodon. And I'm going to hit this thing with a big old Giga Dream. That's totally the play. That's totally the play. Swapping Gastro. Now, wait a minute. Now, is the play to go for a Giga Drain? Yeah, but I think plays go for a Giga Drain, and then if we land this, then we Dynamax Venusaur. I really don't want to just Dynamax Venusaur right here, right now. I think this is the play right here. He's got a Dynamax Lapras. He's got a Dynamax Lapras. We have Gastro. If we can waste a turn here, he's he's going to want to change up the weather. There's no way he drops a Resonance. Coco's going to drop. Let's go, baby. Give me that Gastro in here. Is he going to go for a Grass Move on that slot? That would be smart. Show me it, guys. Show me you're changing up this weather. Right? You gotta be changing up that weather. I think what Ferrothorn might protect, and he's gonna try to change up weather. I really do think that's a, that might be the play. But you can't change up weather as long as my boy's right here. But if we get off this Giga Drain, I might definitely Dynamax. Without taking any other health, I think that's the play. And then we can go into a big old uh, Vine Lash. See what happens here. Here comes my Giga Drain. Yeet. Doing some nice damage. We get a good amount of HP back for that. Give it up. Put us back in the green, I think. Yep. This thing's going to proc weakness policy. You got to show me the geyser. You got to show me the geyser. Show me the geyser. Change the weather back. Let's go, baby. Let's go. That's lovely. That's lovely. He's probably going to go into a gyro ball. I think I Dynamax now. He oh, my. I think I still Dynamax. I think I have to Dynamax, right? I have to Dynamax this thing, right? Get off that Vine Lash. That Vine Lash is big damage. That is big, big damage. He's going to set up a Resonance after this. I think I have to Dynamax. I just don't see a better option to Dynamax, right? I'm not going to Dynamax. I think I just Dynamax. I said say we just do this. Let me go back. Let's Dynamax you. Get a special defense boost. Take out you. And then just kick your drink and get some HP back. I think that's the play. I think that's going to be the play. Start special defense boosting for my Gastro. Because Gastro could probably win a one-on-one -on -one with this uh, Lapras. If it has freeze dry, we have the leftovers to cover, protect it. And let's just start boosting our special defense. Let's just start boosting. We're plus one. We are plus one. So that was... I, I, sh I should have Dynamax Gastro on. So thank God I did. 428 HP. Big read on that Max Geyser. Big read on that Geyser. There. Giga Drain comes out. Built. This thing is policy plus. That's some big damage right there. Give me my HP back. Give it back, baby. Give it here. Dire Ball might take us out. Here comes the Resonance, which is kind of scary. That's going to take us out. That's definitely gone. Um, I mean, we get out Rotom. And now we pose two giant threats here. We, po we pose two giant threats. And hopefully we can take out this uh this Ferrothorn. And this thing's just defensive bulk with the Roar Bell now, too. Let's get it. Here comes my Quake, baby. Come on. 
Hey. Stop it. Take him out. Get him out of my face. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Okay, so really good call by dropping that, uh, this, uh, Gashron for the Dynamax. That, that was a good call. I'm a fan of it. I'm a fan of that call. But I feel like either way could have worked out because I was seeing Dynamax and Venusaur just G Max Vine Lashing, doing some big damage, and probably not carrying the Lapras, but having that Tesla damage eventually take him out. Just having Gashron and Torkoal in the back end just doing work. Being quick again here. And then we can go into an EP. Actually, no, we're just gonna go into an eruption. Eruption is gonna do more damage on this. Considering it's a uh, stab, it's still it's it's just normally effective. Here goes the lightning. Torkoal. Yeah, you can't chop them water moves. Whoa oh, there. Whoa there, mister. Slow your roll there. Slow your roll. Definitely gonna go for a freeze try next turn. If we don't KO him here. I don't think we are gonna KO this Lapras. We might. We are plus one. I gotta remember. We're, we're plus one. But I see us eating up whatever he has to offer. Because we are gonna be Dynamax still. We're gonna be Dynamax and we're plus two on special defense board. So that should be GG. That should be GG. Astronaut clutching up. I knew he was gonna bring the Lapras, man. I knew it. Like, you don't roll Lapras teams and not bring Lapras. They're just too good. They're just too good. But definitely MVP was that, uh, that Geyser Reed. That Geyser Reed definitely just won us the game right there. Bang. Max, Max Quake it to finish this one off. And we go 2 and 1. We should have been 3 now. You guys know that first battle was buns. That was whack. We actually lost because of two missed heat waves. All we needed was one to hit. And we would have had a perfect record for today's video. But we go 2 and 1. And we grab that winning record for you guys. Rufino, shout out to you. Thank you so much for dropping this team. We absolutely rocked out with it on the rank ladder. Went 2-1. Should have been 3-0. You guys already know that. But this team was fire. We had that Gastron coming up clutch. And then that Venusaur and Torco combo. You guys already know that thing is phenomenal. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.